Hey all, welcome to week 10. So it is time to write your second essay. How good are you feeling about that? So basically what I've done for you this week is I've given you a whole bunch of resources to help you through the essay writing process. That's all I'm here to do this week is to guide you and help you to make sure that you feel as comfortable about the essay as possible. Um, so make sure that you use all the online learning resources that you need. Um, as well as any other type of uh, tabs or resources that I've given you through Blackboard. To start off with, make sure you've watched um, all the videos that I've posted throughout the midweek check-ins. is really going to help you out a lot. And that you've read through the directions and rubric document. And let's look over that very quickly. Okay. So here we go. Let me make this a little bit larger. So it's another type of research essay, but you're going to be using a particular text from the unit, right? So there's an introduction you can read at your own perusal. So directions, think, choose one of the texts from unit two. Uh, yours might be a little bit different from this list. Um, I don't think they are, depending on what term you're taking this. So there's Girl by Jamaica Kincaid, We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Cat Person by Kristen Rupinian, and Little Women by Greta Gerwig. I would choose the one that you felt emotionally the strongest about. So you're going to choose one of those texts. Then after exploring all of the assigned resources about this essay, I want you to compose a thesis statement that answers the following question. What does this text argue about the nature of gender? Now, you'll probably be able to go back to your discussion board posts and dig up your thesis statement there. And you might need to modify it a little bit, but that's a good starting point for your essay because that's all you're arguing for. What does this text argue about the nature of gender? Now, you're going to compose a 1,500 to 2,000 word research paper that explores the text and answers the prompt using quotes from the film. So make sure that you're using direct quotes from the, from the film, specific references to scenes, and an analysis that connects the examples to your overall argument. So respond to the ideas and arguments of the text with your own ideas. Do you agree or disagree with the film or text, uh, their argument on gender? Why or why not? Now, it may help to make this portion of the text your overall conclusion, or not of the text, but of your essay, your overall conclusion. Once again, be as specific as possible by using concrete examples and real world experiences. Now, you need to use at least three quotes from your chosen text and you need to use quotes from at least three outside sources to support your argument that you have gathered from TCC's databases. And I've attached the video and some uh, links to help you do that as well. Inevitably, someone will ask, do I have to use the databases? Yes, you do. You have to use the databases because it's going to give you credible information for your essay. Now, what do you search for in the database? Well, it depends on what it is that you're looking for. So you can search the text itself. You can look for biographical information on Greta Gerwig or Jamaica Kincaid. You can look at textual criticism of um, Christian Rupinian's cat person. You may want to search for something broader. You may want to look at gender inequality at large or things like um, online dating if you're doing something about Christian Rupinian and cat person so statistics there and how it's working out or the nature of relationships as it pertains to gender right so there's all sorts of things that you can look at now you need to make sure that you format your paper in mla which i'm going to send you a video on thursday about how to do that because there's a lot of people that were uh, losing a lot of points there because you didn't format your paper the correct in-text citation and a correct work cited page so that's what's going on for you. Okay, once again, feel free to drop in on Google Hangouts at any point if you need some help or email me. Um, so this is the checklist of how I would compose your paper and as well as a guide to how I would spend my week. I've got all these resources right here to help you out if you're stuck. This is where you're going to submit uh, by 1159, not November 1st, depending on when your class is, right? A lot of you watch this are probably going to be in the spring. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that's going on. So there are no new texts this week. You just have to choose one of the texts that we've gone over in Unit 2 and then write about what the argument that text is making about the nature of gender and respond to it. What do you think about all those things? Okay, as always, I am here for help. Do not hesitate to reach out.
and I will see you all on Thursday.